What's up guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today, it's, as you see, is a different style. We're reviewing again the Soundcore Sport X10 earphones and we're going to see them through a scope which is more fitness oriented. So if you're somebody who works out, runs, do all these crazy things and you want to see some good and steady earphones, stay tuned in this video to see if they're worth it or not. So the box, not a problem, just a normal box here. Also the hooks, which is the feature that is the reason I also chose them. They provide more stability. And also we have the different earbuds here for many shapes and sizes of ears. <laughs> if you have big ears or small. Moving on to the first test, guys, in the gym here, I tried them in a sweaty leg day and I can say they performed pretty well. I didn't have any problems, they remained intact, not any problem with the sweat. Also tried the noise cancellation feature that these earphones have. I can say they cancel the noise on average 60%, I would say, they don't completely like um, uh, mute everything, but they do a 50 to 60% decrease of the sound. And especially if you put your music on, you just train more focused, more locked in. And I really didn't find any problem also with this. I didn't hear any music, any speech of people. So that's a good one. Moving on to test number two with calisthenics. Again, didn't have any major problem, which is good. I was doing here some pull-ups without any problem, push-ups also, some explosive move movements that I did during my workout. Didn't have any problem. Also here, some dips. And of course, some muscle ups, which again, with not any problem. Still need to work on this perfect form though. Comment down below how clean it is. <laughs> so last but not least, the running test. I wanted to test how sweat resistant these earphones are and also how stable they are when things get sweaty. <laughs> to my surprise, I didn't have any serious at all, but only towards then when it gets super sweaty, then you might uh, need to maybe touch a bit the earphones if you're someone who gets easily annoyed when they move out of the place, but I would give them a 9.2 out of 10 on the running so they passed this test as well. Which to my opinion was the hardest to pass because during gym sessions and when you exercise, you're kind of more stable, I think. Finished, it was almost three kilometers. With this heat, you know, see I'm full of sweat, but this I can say survived with, uh, with success. But now the final test to see because now my ears are full of sweat. So let's see the final test. <laughs> so this one remained intact. This one, no, oh, they fell. But I'm not too sure that it's realistic that you will do this when you work out. I didn't need to even touch them. They remained in place. But when the sweat comes and you're full of sweat, Maybe you need to touch it. It doesn't fall, but you need to touch it every once in a while. If you're somebody who, yeah, you, if you get irritated that it moves from the place. Okay guys, to keep this video short and concise, I'm going to list the most important factors that I took into consideration when uh, buying these earphones. Factor number one is going to be the overall fit. Also in the daily life, but mostly during the workouts. And as you saw before, we did running, we did calisthenics, we did some gym, we didn't have any serious problems, they remain stable, they remain intact. Just a quick note in the 
in one time when I did this thing and they fell. Then I tried switching one of these, you know, the earbuds you see now on the screen. Made the fit kind of better. But to be honest, if you put all the population like works out, you have this like crazy curve. I think that for 95% of people, you will just be fine. Almost everybody just has a casual, some gym workouts, maybe some runs. So I think that most people will be fine. So moving on to the noise cancellation function. I think it was pretty good. Um, I found out, uh, if I'm not mistaken, that these headphones now cost around 60 to 70 euros. Taking their affordable price into consideration, I can say that, yeah, this function works pretty well maybe to 50 60 percent but it does the job i mean i was in the gym the the volume of the music uh, in the gym was pretty loud but it did it performed pretty well i could stay locked in focused so that's a success as well fourth factor that is also important is the battery life in my personal experience i used them throughout the week for like three or three four workouts four workouts uh, one or two runs and even a 30 minute session in my phone while I was hearing music and they still had some and they still had battery left so I think you don't even have to worry about the battery life and then the sound quality I used to have another brand uh, of earphones before but I, I switched them to these ones because they didn't have the hook so the fit was not good enough for me they used to fall when I was running but if I had to compare the sound quality of these ones and maybe AirPods and also uh, the previous brand that I had. If I'm completely honest, these uh, from Soundcore have a satisfactory sound quality. It's not exceptional, especially in the days that we live in. It's not like shit. It's just this, it's just good enough. I would, uh, good enough, that's it. So the overall recommendation for these earbuds, if, if I had to recommend yes or no, my answer would gravitate more towards yes. I think all the factors, by taking all of them into consideration, they are a pretty decent product, especially by taking the value for money. It's a pretty good exchange, in my humble opinion, of course. And yeah, that's the video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you made it till the end, please consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>